description of your pose first. Big toes touching or a little space, like a wedge shape <clears throat> between the ankles. So really focus of the, on the connectedness of your feet to the earth, your mat. So open the toes nice and wide, lift them, spread them wide, and then root them into your mat, into the floor. Feel the lift of the inner arches, so checking the rotation of your ankles, neither in nor out, so neutralize the ankle um, position. So we have a lovely alignment up the legs to the hips and through the spine to the crown of the head. So squeeze into the thighs, engage into the legs, feel the kneecaps lift, and then check in on your pelvis, either tilting forwards or backwards. And then begin to engage in your lower bundas and mula bunda, give that a squeeze, lift energetically in and then pulling up. And then taking the navel in towards the spine. So really draw in navel to spine. So you have your mula and udhyana bandha. Roll your shoulders back and down. And then take a little tuck of the chin ever so slightly towards the chest so you can feel the lengthening in the back of the neck. And then imagine a golden thread pulling you from the crown all the way up to the sky. Then the arms energize. Open the palms forwards, receiving universal energy, cosmic energy. And then close your eyes. Begin to engage fully in the generous gift of the present moment. Feel yourself arrive. So focus, concentration, part of the eight limbs of yoga, dharana, concentration. So concentration brings us closer to our present moment awareness. Closing the eyes, pratyahara, which is sense withdrawal. So beginning to really focus on the here and now in your body. So closing off the senses, <clears throat> not engaging with any distractions of sound, <clears throat> excuse me, or looking at anything outside of the body. So really focusing inwards. Noticing your breath flowing in and out. The wave of the breath. Cool, fresh, new prana, life force in. So this is your pranayama, your breath control awareness. Let's breathe in for four and out for four. In and out through the nose. In for four. And then exhaling for four. Breathing in light. Breathing out any darkness. Positive in. Negative out. And then picture as you breathe in, energy from the earth lifting up through your feet, legs, torso, through the neck, all the way to the crown of the head. And as you exhale, flow that energy down from the head, shoulders, Upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, palms to the fingertips. So breathing in, follow the breath with the flow of the energy up from the feet to the top of the head, down to the fingertips. So creating this fluid cycle of breath. and setting an intention for your day, for your practice towards yourself. Create this affirmation, I am. Repeat it out loud or to yourself silently. Make it positive, make it strong and definite. Picture and embody that affirmation happening now. And now bringing your hands together in Atmanjali Mudra to your heart center. 
You can open the eyes now or keep them closed as we take three OMs together. So OM is A-U-M. So it's made up of <clears throat> three parts. The deep vibrational sound, which helps lift up your vibrational energy. Your energy vibrating with that of the universe, the cosmos around you. So OM is the universal sound of all things. So taking a, de a deep breath in to start. Um. 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 So the sound made up of A, U, M. So having that mm vibration with the lips closed and the A with the, the mouth open. So as you go through the arm, um, the lips closed and then the vibration of the M at the end. Slowly closing, opening up the eyes. Now that they're being closed, we can just bring our awareness back into our space a little bit. Find a drishti spot on the floor as we come into Urdhva Hastasana. So bringing the hands back together, reaching the arms to the sky. Draw your arms alongside your ears. Squeeze into the thighs. Check that tilt to the pelvis. You're not arching the lower back. So tuck it under and engage into your lower bundles. Reach the fingertips up to the sky. So concentration, dharana. Let's take three more breaths here. And then taking your weight into your right leg. Placing your left foot, push the foot firmly into the thigh or into the lower leg or big toe touching the earth. Remember, there's no competition, no judgment, no criticism. Where your foot goes is where it needs to go today. Lifting into your bandhas, squeezing and pushing into the, the big toe, really rooted into the earth, lifting the arms to the sky. Take five deep, ujjayi, victorious oceanic breaths here. Maybe bringing a smile to the lips, relaxing the muscles of the face. Two more deep breaths. Then hand to heart. Extend your left foot forward, squeeze into the thigh, flex the foot. And then lower it down. Give your legs a little shake out. Let's go over to the other side. So check the foot, root the big toe into the earth. Find your drishti spot for your balance and your concentration. So that using dirana. So really narrowing down the focus point. Then pushing the foot, the lifted leg foot into the thigh. Really attach it. Hands to heart center. If you wobble, don't worry. Just go back and start from where you left off. Press restart. Grow your branches up to the sky. Ujjayi breath. Pranayama. Breath control. Energize your breath. Feel the energy lift from the feet up to the crown of the head. And then drawing your hands back down to heart. Extend the right leg forward, squeeze into the thigh. And then lower it down. Keeping your hands like this, we're going to do some wood chopper breath now. <clears throat> You're going to inhale to lift up. 
and then exhale really strong take that hands between the legs inhale to lift exhale really push the breath out squeeze navel to spine so three more of those inhale at the top look up to your hands exhale chop the breath a really good way to release anything that doesn't serve you inhale the last one exhale and then standing back in mountain pose tadasana let's take surya namaskar a inhale sweep arms wide look up to your thumbs over for hastasana exhale Folding down, swan dive down over the legs, Uttanasana. Plant the hands, drop the head. Inhale to come halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. So scoop the belly up, flat back. Hold the breath as you plant the hands firmly to the earth. Step your feet back one at a time. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Drop the elbow, slide the heart between the hands. Taking Salambhasana, push into the earth. But keep looking down towards the floor. Then through a bit of last in a tabletop, tuck the toes and set your feet into downward facing dog. Drishti to navel, navel to spine. You can pedal out the legs here if you feel you want to stretch the lower calves. Maybe nod the head, yes. Just shaking the neck. Shake it, no. And then on your next breath in, come onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees. Take your thighs towards your belly and then step one foot at a time up to the top, exhaling. Inhale, half lift. Gaze forwards, heart lifts. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms wide. Lift up to the sky. Hands together at Manjali Mudra at the top. Look up to your thumbs. Flowing down, exhale. Inhale. Plant the hands, hold the breath, step back into plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Let's stick with the Ashtanga Pranam and then your Salambhasana. Exhale through Bidalasana, tabletop, tuck toes. And Ardha Mukhashwanasana, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, bend your knees, look forwards. You can take a little hop, step or jump to the top this time. Your choice. Breath in as you half lift. Deeper into the forward fold. Plant the hands to the floor, drop the head towards the legs. You can take a little micro back, a little bend into the knees, but lowering down over the legs. Inhale, root the feet, squeeze the thighs, lift up to the top. Then exhale, flowing down. Inhale, half lift. Hold the breath, plant the hands. Taking a little jump into your plank if you want. Taking your Chaturanga Dandasana if you feel you're ready. Nerdva Mukhashwanasana, upward facing dog, or sticking with the Salambhasana. Push into the hands, draw navel to spine, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Sending the hips back in space. Downward facing dog. Ujjayi breath, checking in on the breath. Really focus. Dirana. On your breath. Pranayama. Inhale, bend the knees, look forwards, exhale. Hop, step or jump up to the top. Inhale for half lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms wide. Look up to the top, little micro back bend, hips forwards. Arms back, and then back to Samastiti. Hands to heart center. Let's take a round of Surya Namaskar B. So bring your feet and legs together, inhaling to bend the knees, send the hips back in space, and lift the arms up. Coming into that lightning bolt shape, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Hold the breath in as you plant the hands and step or transition your way into plank. Phalankasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. 
Inhale, Urdhva, Mukha, Svanasana. Exhale. Send the hips back in space. Breath in, right leg to sky. Stepping the right foot forwards, drop the left heel down. We're going to do eagle arms. So we're going to take the right arm under left. Nice breath in, we're going to hold it here. Lift the arms up. So you're pushing into the front leg, squeezing into the front thigh, straightening the back leg. Look up to your hands. Release the arms, frame the front foot. Breath in into plank. Exhale, lower. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Let's do the other side. Left leg to sky, breath in. Kick it up. Bend the knee, then step forwards. Drop the back heel, 45 degrees. So you've got a bend in the front leg, straightening the left. Left arm under, right eagle arms. Garudasana arms. Looking up to your hands. Lift them a little higher, bend a little bit more into the front leg. One more deep breath in and out. Exhale. Unwind the arms, frame the front foot. Into plank, inhale. Lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Five breaths, downward facing dog. Let's inhale, kick the right leg back up to the sky. And then step it forward, setting your feet up centrally on the mat, coming into warrior two. So windmill the left arm back, check your feet far and apart, far apart so that the front knee doesn't oversail the ankle. So the line along your mat, if you have one, is the one you're standing on. Exhale to sink a little lower, reaching your hands forwards and back. Heart in the present, front hand in the future, back hand in the past. Little smile on the face. Sink a little lower. Two more breaths. Soften into the shoulders, the face. No tension in these muscles. Then extended side angle. So reaching that diagonal line, forming with the left fingertips to the left outer foot, bend into your right hip into that right leg hold something precious into your right hand lifting your face directly up your top hand you can take your lower hand down if you can think a little lower inhale and exhale deeply and then straightening the front leg Tuck the tailbone under, reaching the arms, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Lifting your right hand to your heart center for two breaths. Really squeeze into the side right waist. Feel as though your top fingertips are reaching up to the sky. Big breath in. Then exhale, look down to your front foot. And then coming into Prasarita Padottanasana. So both legs... The feet in parallel, so legs facing forwards. So you're facing probably the side of your mat now. Taking a breath in, come onto the fingertips and then hinging from the hip creases, folding down, head down towards the floor. <sighs> Hugging your elbows towards each other. So you're trying to reach the crown of the head down to the floor. On a breath in, lifting the chest up. Going to spin round the other way, coming into warrior two, the other side. Check your feet are still in alignment, front heel back in arch, sink into the hips. We're reaching the fingertips apart. A little lower. So not leaning forwards or backwards with the body, the body is central. Checking the knee at the front isn't rolling in. So check 
that's not happening and the front knee is not past the front ankle. If it's going beyond, then you need to take the feet further apart. So look to your front hand with your drishti, soft gaze. Extended side angle, forearm to thigh. Diagonal line with the side body. Really roll that right shoulder back so you're not letting the chest reach forward. So the chest is still to the side, sinking to the hips a little lower. Look up to your top hand. And you can keep here with the left hand holding something precious or reaching down to the left ankle. Looking up to the sky or towards your top hand if you can. And then straightening up the front leg. Straighten it up. And then feel as though somebody's been li is lifting you by the fingertips. So that your hands, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, but you're not dumping down into the floor. This would be easier to do um, the fingertips down to the floor. Actually, you're creating a lift. Check the chest is facing to the front. And you're tucking your tailbone under. Imagine you're between two planes of glass. Left hand to heart. Big breath in. Exhale, look down to the front foot. Spin back to face the side. Let's take that prasri to pad up to nice the hands on the hips this time. Breath in to open the chest, look up. Exhale. Fold forwards, clasp your hands behind the back, reaching the hands up to the sky. You can heel toe your feet a little bit wider if it's possible to bring the crown of the head down towards the mat. So push into the front of your feet. You can tilt the weight a little bit forward into your toes if your head's quite low down. Lift the arms a little higher if you can. Working into the shoulders. Squeeze and lift into the abdominals. Big breath in, release the arms down, keep them clasped, and then squeeze into the thighs, lifting the body up in one go. Heel toe the feet a little closer together, release the hands, take a big step, one big step forward, bringing the feet together at the front. Into eagle pose now, or a figure of four. Right leg, standing foot, figure of four. Bring the left foot across and above the right knee. Hands to heart center, sinking down. So you're sitting on a chair behind you. Keeping the chest lifted, using a spot on the floor for your drishti. Alternatively, wrapping the left leg. So the left leg is on top, so the left arm goes underneath. So we're doing our Garudasana eagle pose. Squeeze navel to spine, squeeze the legs together. Lift the arms a little higher. And slowly release. Over to the other side. So taking your option, figure of four. Or taking the left, the right leg around the left and the left arm goes underneath. So the, whichever leg is on top, the arm goes the other way underneath. So top leg, the arm goes under on the same side. Two more breaths. Slowly release and give your legs a shake out. Let's do one Surya Namaskar A. Inhale, sweep the arms wide. Look up to your thumbs. Exhale, forward fold. So vinyasa, basically, to get onto the floor. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step, step, jump back and lower down. Up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. And then straight away, jumping your feet or step to your hands. Coming into Navasana. Boat pose, hands behind the knees, chest lifts, leg lifts. Extend the legs, reach forwards, big breath in, drawing knees to chest, and then go again, 
Now, if you need to hold the legs, keep holding onto the legs or having the knees bent. But if you can, extend the legs, squeeze into the belly, really engage there, and release. Two more times. Extend. Reach the arms alongside the head. Release one more time. Five, four, three, two, one. Ardha Navasana. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then hug the knees in. Taking your blocks now. Coming into Padmasana if you can. So Padmasana is lotus. That's one leg over the other. And then we're going to press into the blocks either side of the hips. Now, if you can't do Padmasana, then take a cross-legged seated position, hugging the feet in as close as you can. So pushing into the blocks and then lifting the hips up. We're gonna hold there for five breaths. You can also have a go at this without the blocks if you feel you don't need it, but use the blocks for the extra little bit of height. So lifting the knees up, hands down to the floor, and then lift the bottom off. Five breaths. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze into the belly. And a release down. Unwind the legs, cross the feet. Underneath, go onto your knees. Some pike lifts next. So we can either use the blocks. We're gonna bring the knees close to the, the blocks, or the blocks close to the knees rather. You're on the top of the feet. We're gonna take a breath in, lift the hips up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release down. Can do it without the blocks as well if you feel you have the space to do so. Exhale down. You don't have to come onto the tops of the toes, you can tuck them under if it's feeling uncomfortable. But we're really squeezing and lifting into the abdominal area, really engage fully there. Let's do another three. And two, and one. Take the feet down and transition straight away into Ardha Mukha downward facing dog. 10 deep breaths here, in and out. Back in a second. So a dry breath in and out. Two more breaths. From here, kicking the right leg to the sky. Hold it here, three-legged dog. Five breaths. Really kick that leg up a little bit higher. Release down. Other side, three-legged dog. Kick up. And release down. Two options now is to stay in downward facing dog or to come over to your wall and you can do a handstand. Ardha Mukha uh, Vrikshasana. So it's like an upside down tree. You can do this against your wheel if you have one. So head against the wheel, squeeze and lift into the belly and kicking up. 
if not taking your feet against the wall or staying in downward facing dog. Five more breaths. Making sure you come out safely. And come into Balasana Child's Pose. Inhaling to come up, sitting on a block or a cushion between the bottom and the heels, taking a little wrist therapy. If you did your handstand, so give a little compression, a squeeze into the wrist and then give them a rotation. Continuous articular rotations are really excellent for the wrists. So the forearm is not moving, keeping that completely static and just the wrist, the hand is moving. So you're really working into full circle, circular movements of the wrist. Okay. Into dolphin, shishulasana, options, using a strap for the forearms. You can even place a block between the hands. So pushing into the forearms, holding onto a block. The reason why we put the strap on the forearms is to stop the elbows from splaying out to the sides, which they tend to want to do. So holding here for five deep breaths. Walking the feet as close as you can towards you. Squeeze and lift into the belly, really push into the forearms. You can hold on to the block. Squeeze the thighs. Exhale to slowly drop the knees down to the floor. Into Pinchamayarasana, over to the wall. Now you can do this in a couple of ways. Either kicking up into Pinchamayarasana, so look between the, the forearms, or you can do this this way around so your feet are against the wall so we need to figure out how far away from the wall we need to put our forearms so roughly think of the length of the legs with the feet flexed that's roughly where the middle of the forearms need to go so setting up your distance so getting your pincher forearms ready then walking the legs, the feet up the wall. So stacking your hips over your shoulders, look between your forearms, squeeze the left into the belly, you can extend one leg to the sky. And the other side. Then walk your feet back down safely. Give the shoulders a little shake out, release them from their strap. Coming into Blasana, child's pose. Ten breaths. Really release the shoulders forward, so rolling the shoulders forward. Palms of the hands reaching up to the sky. So it's just allowing the shoulders to really open across the back. Three more breaths. Closing the eyes, keeping the focus. Dharana concentration. Inhale to come up. Grabbing a cushion or a, a, um, a bolster. I'm going to come into Supta Varasana. So we're on our knees. Hip distance apart, push the flesh away 
from behind the backs of the legs, slowly coming back onto the elbows. Now, if this is as far as you can go, then stay here on the hands or come down. Just do it incrementally. Lowering the lower back, the lower back and the upper back onto a cushion, just to give yourself a little bit of a, a landing that's nice and soft. And if you're down on your cushion already, you can clasp opposite elbows overhead. If this hurts your knees in any way, please come out, come out of it and sit in a cross-legged position, extending the legs so that they're not folded underneath, putting pressure on the knee joints. Let's take another three deep breaths here. Elbows down by the, the feet, hold on to the ankles, lift the chest a little bit on a breath in, then walk the elbows a little bit further back. Then you can place one hand at a time where the elbows were pushing up. Coming back to downward facing dog. Tuck the toes. Send the hips back. Just inverting the body the other way. Chin to chest, drishti to navel. Three more deep breaths. And slowly drop the knees down, coming to lay on your stomachs into Salambhasana Locust. So we're reaching the arms back alongside the body, roll the shoulders back and down, really open up across the chest, look down to the floor, lift the arms away, lift the legs away from the floor. Five breaths. Lift a little higher with the chest and legs if you can. Big breath in. Exhale, lower down, reach the arms forwards. Salambhasana C. So reaching the arms forwards. This time look between the hands, squeeze and lift on a breath in. Lift legs, lift arm. And slowly release down, make a little pillow for your head. Finally reaching back to come into Dhanurasana, bow pose. So reaching for the ankles, really grab hold of the front of the feet there. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, legs drawn in parallel with each other so the knees and feet don't splay outside, out to the side. So keeping the legs parallel, squeeze them in towards each other. Big breath in, you need to lift the chest, push the feet into the hands. Flex the feet, deep breaths here, as deep as you can. And exhale, release down. Pushing into the hands. Come onto your knees, drop the hips to the right and reach your hands to the outer left leg. Taking a little twist, look over your left shoulder. Engage into the abdominal area. Straighten the spine as much as possible. Other side. I'm gonna do a little baby grasshopper now. Reach the legs forwards in Dandasana first. So let's squeeze the thighs, push the backs of the legs and Calves into the floor, flex the feet. Zip up the lower bundas and then add in Jalandhara, chin to chest. Roll shoulders back and down, nice straight spine. Another three breaths. Let's take our right leg over the left. So the left leg is still extended straight. And now the right foot is on the floor. Place your left hand down by your left hip and reach the right arm up, then reach 
forwards. Take that hand, turn the palm to reach towards the outer blade of the left foot. Now, if you can't reach the left foot, put a strap around it and hold on to a strap. If you have hold of the foot, that's great. Take a nice breath in, squeeze into the abdominals, lift the left leg off the floor. Now we're going to be pushing into our right foot and our left hand. Big breath in. Exhale, push, lean forwards a little bit. And then look up. Five breaths. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop the bottom back down. Over to the other side. I'm going to turn around so I don't have my back to you. Right leg is extended straight, left leg comes over. So now we're facing to the right. Put the strap around the foot if you needed it on the other side. You're gonna be leaning into your right hand, reach the left arm up, turn the palm to face towards the outer blade of the right foot, grab hold of the foot or use that strap. So lean forwards without looking down to the floor, but look. So you're leaning forwards, but still looking up, lift, the right leg off, that's step one. Then push really actively into your right hand and your left foot, squeeze and lift, hip, bottom, leg, the whole lot off the floor. Abdominal squeeze, five, four, three, two, one, slowly lower down. Well done, give your legs a shake out. You should definitely feel squeeze into, the abdominal area. Let's come into Gamukhasana. Right leg over left. If you need to place a block under your bottom, just to elevate the hips, takes a little less strain on the hip joints. Right arm reaches up as the right arm is over the top. Reach down between the shoulder blades, then left hand reaches up towards it, grab hold of it, or use a strap in between the hands if you can't reach them together. Breath in, squeeze and lift into the abdominals. Exhale, hinge from the hip cre creases, keeping the spine as long as you can so we're not bending in the spine. So it's the belly, chest landing on the top leg. Then you can lower the head down, chin down, nose down towards the knee. Three more breaths. On a big breath in, lifting up in one go. Release the arms and switch sides. Right leg underneath, left leg on top. Sit on a block if you need to. No competition. We're all different. Some people need props for different things. Reaching up the right hand from below, left hand reaching down from above. Big breath in, lift and lengthen, straighten the spine. Exhale, hinge from the hip creases, folding down over the top leg. Keep that focus and attention in the present moment, the here and now. Breath in to come up. Exhale, release. Open the legs wide. Let's take a Uppavista Konasana. Flex the feet. Hinging from the hip creases. Now, if you find this particularly difficult, then take a block and place that underneath the bottom. So reach the arms up alongside the ears. Hinge from the hip creases as you reach forwards with the body. Reach, reach, reach as far as you can. Keep going. Keep reaching and then reaching the hands towards the feet or the big toes. You can have a block or a cushion for the head to land on as high as you need. So if it's here or it's higher up, take a couple of blocks. Have something to land the head onto. Five more breaths. Two more. 
Inhaling to come up nice and slowly. Bending your left leg. Let's reach towards the right foot. Maybe stretching into the side body. Reach the left, so left hand reaching to the foot and the right hand reaching underneath and in front. Keeping an eye on this left buttock which wants to lift off the floor. So keeping that groundedness of the left buttock and thigh down towards the mat. So the aim is to have the chest facing forwards rather than downwards. Two more breaths. Inhale to come up, switch sides. <clears throat> so left hand is reaching forwards, the right arm alongside the ear roughly. So you reach, reach, reaching towards the left foot, keeping that right hip glued down. Instead of having the chest facing the mat, you want to face the chest forward. So you're opening, really opening up, really squeezing into the left side. Think of giving your internal organs a, a morning massage, detoxifying anything, eliminating anything, really working on the digestion. Inhale to come up. Feet together. In Baddha Konasana, you can also sit on a block. So it's quite nice to sit on a block for this. You can kind of get your hips a little bit higher over your towards your feet. So pushing and oh, feel the click in the hips there and the sacrum. So reaching the chest forwards, holding the feet, opening the soles of the feet like a book. So keeping the straight spine as much as possible. Reaching down, forwards, forwards, forwards as much as you can. Keeping the engagement into your bundas, the lower bundas. And then inhaling to come up, extend the legs. One forward fold, and then we're going to lie down. Back to that Dandasana position of the legs, so squeeze the thighs really, really strong, push the backs of the legs, reaching up, on a breath in, exhale, reaching forwards. Reach beyond the feet if you can. So really picture some of these almost pulling you by the fingertips. Belly lands first, then the chest, then the head would arrive last. So either grabbing hold of your hands, your big toes, the outer blades of your feet, or using the strap around the feet. Take a breath in to really straighten up as much as you can into the spine. Look to the big toes. And then exhale to fall down. Let's take 10 breaths here. Really extend the length of the exhale. And as you exhale longer, releasing the legs, the backs of the legs. Give your thighs a little squeeze and then release. Five more breaths. Really focusing on releasing, letting go on the exhale. Two more. Inhale. Just slowly work your way, way up. Pop on any jumpers, socks you need to so that you don't get cold. And slowly peel yourself down onto the mat. Any movements you feel you need to do, hugging knees to chest, for instance. Take a little window wiper of the knees side to side. Taking any little stretches you feel that would be good. But finally, extending the legs long. Have the arms nice and far away from the body. Lots of space. Palms, the hands facing up. Closing the eyes. Softening the muscles of the face. A little smile on the lips. Any wiggles and jiggles. Maybe a little roll of the head, side to side, just checking the neck and then finding that lovely spot on the back of the head. 
Checking you're not jutting the chin up to the sky. Just lengthen the neck and it's not like you're drawing your chin down to your chest. Just lengthen the back of the neck. Just neutralize the cervical spine alignment. And checking in on the flow of the breath. Really follow that flow, that lovely cycle in and out. Soften the face and clench the jaw. Allow the eyes to really soften into the sockets, really resting there. And creasing the brow. Maybe the smile, just a gentle smile, a gift to you. Saying thanks, giving yourself gratitude, compassion and love. Thank you, me. Thank you for turning up today, showing up on my mat. Keeping the focus and attention inwards. Focusing on the flow of the breath. Softening the shoulders, backs of the arms, the elbows, the forearms and the backs of the hands into the floor. Really, really let them sink into the floor. Dissolving any muscular tension in the arms and the shoulders. Relaxing into the neck and throat. Softening into the chest and the upper back. Taking your attention now down to the abdominals. Soften these and soften the lower back and the waist, allowing it to sink down to mat, to the earth. Circling your attention all the way around the hips, the pelvis, sacrum, the groin, the buttocks. Allow any softening, releasing of tension there. Softening the muscles around the tops of the legs, the thighs, the hamstrings, the inner outer thighs. Softening into the knee joints, the shins, the upper calves, the lower calves, the ankles, the heels. Feel them sinking into the floor, the upper feet the soles of the feet and the toes. Just noticing without needing to change anything, the body as it is. Compassionately accepting this present moment exactly as it is. And coming back to your affirmation that you started with today. Repeat that once more to yourself three times, silently or out loud. Just allowing yourself to stay here, relaxing for another minute or so. Enjoying this moment of stillness and just noticing the vibration, the sound that you hear. Just allow it to enter into every cell of your body. Just unify, unifying yourself with this vibration, this resonance, this energy. Just thinking of your whole body as energy, every cell as energy.
bringing in love and gratitude to your heart, into your heart space. Expand your heart with infinite love, love of the universe, cosmic love. body vibrating with these sounds. Slowly bringing your awareness back into the space around you, maybe wiggling your fingers and toes, just slowly bringing the awareness from within to the outer body. Giving yourself the stretch, reaching the arms overhead, stretch the legs long, bring them together, and then when you're ready, rolling over onto your right side let's take a little brief pause there before coming into Tukasana cross-legged seated position keeping the eyes closed the gaze low taking your hands on your knees palms facing up and then drawing joining the thumb and the pointer finger together So once more, let's take the mantra on. A powerful force, a sound wave, an energy vibration, coupled with thought intentional wave. So working on the physical body and both the emotional body. So let's take three soothing OMs to soothe the nervous system and to heal the body. So this is a healing sound. Ah. Ah. Bring your hands together to your heart center. The light in me honors the light in you. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you, everybody. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you here soon. Take care.